Strawberry wine, seventeen, the hot July moon, saw everything. Hey, baby, what you doing? I'm cleaning out the pantry and getting rid of all the snacks. We just bought those snacks. Why are you throwing them out? Because, baby, we need to go on a diet. We? Who is we? You got a mouse in your pocket? No, I ain't going on no diet. I am big boy proud. I am going to eat whatever I want to eat. I also bought us all turkey bacon, ground turkey, ground chicken. We got to get rid of all the red meats, too. Were you dropped on your head as a child? No, I ain't eating no turkey bacon. I'm eating real bacon, and red meat's the only thing that lets me put up with you. And we got to get rid of all the sodas, and we're going to start drinking skim milk, too. Once again, I'm not comprehending the we part here. Baby, if you want to go on a diet, that is your business. I will 100% support you. But I am not going on no diet. I don't know where you're getting this we from. Oh, my goodness. We've got to get rid of this ice cream. we got to get rid of this garlic bread. How do you feel about plant-based meat? Baby, I know I said for better or for worse. But if you try one time to feed me some plant-based meat, you won't have to get a divorce lawyer. Let's, Let's go, go girls. girls. I'm going out. Man, fuck. Hello? Hey, Cam, it's Dispatch. I was just giving you a call back. I saw I missed your call about 20 minutes ago, man. What's up? Oh, yeah, see, I called you earlier to get a permit for this thing because it's actually 15-2 on the trailer, but hell, I'm not worried about it anymore because I'm pulling out of the job site now, so we're just going to fucking send her and see how she goes. Okay, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not pull out of the job site if you're that tall, okay? There is a 14-2 bridge like two miles down the road that you have to go under, and that's clearly not gonna fit. All right, so just set your brakes, sit there for a minute. Let me make a couple phone calls and see if there's another way we can bring you out of there, all right? Yeah, absolutely. I will stay on this job site next time we go through this because I already pulled out of the job site 10 minutes ago because you didn't answer your phone. I've been rolling north ever since, and I just, oh, shit. Yep, there's the sign right there. Low clearance, 14-2, half mile ahead. So, it sounds like you're on the clock, brother. You better make some phone calls, find me an alternate route, because if you don't call me back before I get to this bridge, I'm going to be honest, I have no fucks to give anymore, so I'm just going to try to fit under it. And if at first I don't succeed, I'm just going to hit it with some speed. So you better make some phone calls quick, brother. God damn it, Cam. Don't be fucking stupid, okay? Look, just pull over. Give me like five minutes. I'll make some phone calls. We can find an alternate route. You don't need to try to go under a bridge that you already know you're not going to fucking fit under. And then you definitely don't need to try it again with more speed, okay? Give me five minutes. I will find a route, okay? I got to go. Bye. No, sir, there's got to be another way out of there because if there's not, he's just going to hit the... <sighs> Shit. Hey, that's him calling me. I got to go. Yeah, I'll call you back. All right, bye. Hey, Cam, I was just on the phone with the state, and they were saying we have... Yeah, no, I'll stop you right there. You can actually get off the phone with them, man, okay? Because I'm such a good driver, and I think outside the box, I found a way to get this thing under height. Yeah, actually, Bubbles is down there measuring it right now. Hey, Bubbles, how tall is it? Uh, I think about 11'2". Okay, hey, Bubbles says it's about 11'2 now, man, so we should be good to go, right? Oh, well, how did you... Oh, my God. Don't tell me you hit the bridge and broke shit off the top, and that's how you got it under height. No, man, we did not hit the bridge, okay? That's not how we got it under height. I'm just that good of a driver, and I think outside the box like that. That's all. Cool. I'm just confused how you thought outside the box to drop four feet without taking anything off or hitting anything. Well, you know, if I'm being honest, it was kind of an unintentional thinking outside of the box. It just kind of happened. Uh, basically, we were rolling up on the bridge, so I started dropping gears, getting ready to slam this motherfucker underneath of it, and then last second, I saw a driveway off to the side. I was like, well, hell, I'll just swing in there and turn around, and we can go the other way, and what... Basically, I, I, I rolled it over in the ditch. It's it's on its side. But the good news is I didn't hit the bridge, you know, so we're good there. Just need a rotator now to get me out of here so we can find a real solution to this because th this shit ain't it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hell. Oh, my God, Bubbles, look, it's the Chinese spy balloon, man. Well, brother, let me see. Man, Cam, that ain't no fucking Chinese spy balloon, brother. It's just Joe Dirt flying around in the hot air balloon. Really, Joe Dirt? No, it's not, man. It's a fucking Chinese spy balloon. It's all over the news, man. Man, no shit. That's crazy, Cam. I still think it's Joe Dirt, though, because you can kind of see a mullet blowing around up there. But anyway, brother, what the fuck's it doing, man? Well, obviously, I'd say it's spying on us. But I'm pretty sure they said on the news that they think it's flying around to, I don't know, get pictures and intel on our landscape and stuff like that. Hey, yo, hold up, brother. You're telling me they're just taking pictures of the landscape? 
So you're telling me China has never heard of Google Maps because I can go in the other room on my computer, not ever get up from the seat and see the whole fucking world if I want to go down every road I want, see every landscape I want to see. Okay, and I don't think that if that's what they were doing, they would use a fucking balloon that escaped from a birthday party, brother. That's all I'm saying. That's why I say it's fucking Joe Dirt up there. Oh, well, you make no sense. Well, no, actually, no, that makes, that makes perfect sense. What the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, why would they not use Google Maps? Or Apple Maps even now? I could go in the other room right now and look at all China if I wanted to, man. And then, yeah, why would they use a fucking balloon? They got all the technology in the world, man. They're flying a fucking balloon around like it's a carnival. It's crazy. Oh, shit, Bubbles, they just popped the balloon, dude. What, brother, no, what? Oh, my God. You're right, Cam, they did pop the balloon. At least somebody getting their bubble blown around here. It's cool to see, though. That's all you got to do to get your bubble popped is just fly something over the U.S. and then they'll blow the bubble. Don't worry, you raise the gangster, I'ma survive. I Shit, it's this bitch. Hello? Hey, what's up? Uh, question. Tell me why I just checked the GPS and you're doing 18 miles an hour down the interstate right now? Um, well, that's a dumb question because my truck's 19 speed, duh. <laughs> what? Look, man, I don't know if your phone cut out or something, so I'll say it one more time and slow it down for you this time. My truck is an 18 speed, okay? What's a measurement of speed? Miles per hour. I can only go 18 of them because I only got an 18 speed, man. I don't know how else to fucking explain it to you. Cam, no, you have an 18 speed transmission. It doesn't mean you can only go 18 miles an hour. If you press the throttle down all the way, you'll go a hell of a lot faster, dumbass. Ah, uh, okay, I see what you're saying. You're saying just because it's an 18 speed doesn't mean I can only go 18. I'd go 70 if I wanted to. I got you, man. I'm picking up with your land down. Um, I'm going to be real with you, though, man. It's Friday, and I ain't got that many hours in this week, so maximum I'm going to go is like 25, okay? Because I can't get done with this shit too early because I'm trying to milk this clock out like your old lady was milking. Hey, boss, man, it's me. Dude, you ain't going to believe this shit. These pipeline boys said I can't get this fucking D8 down onto this road to get it to the right-of-way. I don't know how bad the road is. I'm not there yet. I'm just saying, they said I can't. And you know me. That means I'm a fucking send it. I'm going to show these boys how we do it, man. Yeah. Well, I ain't going to break nothing. Chill out. But just know, if within the next 10 minutes, you're getting a phone call from me, that probably means I laid this son of a bitch on its side. So, yeah. I just want you to know, if you get a phone call from me here real soon, it ain't good news. But if you get a video, um, just know that it's a video of me sending it over that motherfucker. And we made it, boy. We started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> Come on. Hello? Fuck it, I'm just gonna send it. Oh, shit. I got a video from Cameron. stupidest son of a bitch I've ever met in my life. Do you know what would have happened if you would have got high centered right there? You would have fucking rolled. Man, I know the motherfucker would have rolled over. I was sitting in the son bitch when I did it. I felt it almost go over. But guess what? Almost don't count. But what does count is the fact that I saw that hill drop 
Everybody said, man, you ain't gonna make it. So I dropped the fucking gear, I put it to the floor and let her eat, man. That's how you send it right there. That's why I get shit done and nobody else does, man. Listen, boy, you might have got it somewhere that everybody said you couldn't get it. But just know this, next time, when you do roll the son of a bitch, I ain't gonna save you. Well, let me tell you something then, boss, man. If I ever do roll this son of a bitch, know one thing. The pedal was buried through the fucking floor, I was yelling, raise hell, praise Dale, and it was a full sand. Come on. Hello? Boss man, hello. I better never roll this son of a bitch. I'll shit myself. What in the fuck is he doing? Cam! Cam! What are you doing? Girl, why is you lying? Girl, why you Mufasa? Yeah, me casa su casa. Cam! Ah, shit! What are you doing? God, boss man, you scared the fuck out of me. I was just... Uh... Okay, you caught me. I was singing and dancing. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about, Cam. Why are you putting company fuel... And your personal pickup truck. That's what I was talking about. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Whew. I thought you were talking about my singing and dancing. I was going to say I have an explanation for that, all right? Because your boy here may or may not be trying out for America's Got Talent next month, okay? You going to see me on TV up there on that stage and be singing a song and doing a little bit of moving and grooving, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was talking about the fuel. Oh, yeah, the fuel. Um, So, we were on the phone like 25 minutes ago. I know your Alzheimer's probably acting up again, but you said, hey, Cam, make sure when you get back, you put fuel in your truck before you leave. And here I am putting fuel in my truck, which works out great because I got a fuel can in the bed of my truck here somewhere. It needs filled up, too. And I Yeah, but why are you putting company fuel in your personal pickup? I just told you. You said to put my fuel in my truck, man, and here I am doing it. What the fuck are you mad about? I don't fucking believe this shit. Boy, I said put fuel in your truck, as in the truck you drive every goddamn day, not your personal pickup. Oh, okay. I see how the math's not really mathing for you. So you must did 2 plus 2 equals 4, multiplied that by 6, then carried the 1 over, divided by 2, and that came out to cans in the wrong. I actually multiplied by 3, carried the 4 over, and then did pi squared, and it came out to you. are a fucking idiot, boss, man. Okay, I'm about sick of your shit. Last I checked, brother, I drive this thing every goddamn day. How the hell do you think I get to and from this shithole Monday through Friday, huh? You think I walk here? Huh? You think I'm Lewis and Clark exploring everything, walking around like a fucking aimless? No, man. I drive this motherfucker, and you just said, put fuel in your truck when you get back. This is my truck. Then you just said, no, I said the truck you drive every day. I drive this motherfucker every day, boss man. So what's the issue? Listen here, you twinkle toed fairy dust motherfucker. I meant put fuel in your company semi that you drive every day, you dumb fuck. Not steal fuel from the company. Oh, I didn't realize you. Oh, <laughs> look at that. She's done pumping. I'll just take this out. Excuse me, I just got squeezed through here. Okay. Okay, uh. Well, since she's full, I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of here. So if you don't yeah, mind, no, I just no, I don't think oh, it's your ass over here. You ain't stealing fuel from me. Help, get over help. here. I don't do nothing. I'm a ball. I'm counting all day like the clock on a wall. Now go and get your money, little duffel bag boy. Now... God damn it! Hello? What? I'll be back to the shop in about twenty minutes. Why? Did you just say meet the new guy? I'll be there in a minute. I don't believe this shit. Motherfucker. Who the fuck is this? This is the new guy I was telling you about. You and Bubbles have been getting your dick ran in the dirt, so I figured we could use the extra help. So, here he is. Go ahead and introduce yourself. <laughs> What's up, dude? Name's Trap. T-H-R-E-V. <laughs> T-H-R-E-V-Threv? Nah, bruh, the H is silent. <laughs> so then why is it in your name? It doesn't even belong there. But anyway, I'm Cam. This here's Bubbles. Fresh meat. Bro, don't fucking look me up and down. I'll look you up and down twice, bro. What kind of fucking name is Bubbles anyway? Better watch the way you fucking talk to me, boy. You'll break the record for the biggest bubble ever blown. I don't even 
wouldn't know what that fucking means, my guy. But anyway, bro, I guess I'm riding with you tomorrow, Cam. Me? Why me? Why do I always have to take the new guys? You've been here the longest, so you kind of know a thing or two. Because you fucked up a thing or two, remember? Fuck me. What, whatever, man. I guess be here by 6 a.m. so we can get rolling. But I gotta ask, why the fuck you got them on your face when it's been raining here for two fucking days straight? Got what on my face? Bro, is there something on my fucking face, bro? Yeah. There is. Those obnoxious ass fucking sunglasses. Oh, bro. <laughs> You're talking about my fucking pit vibes, bro? Nah, bro. Funny story. So they're actually a part of my lifestyle and my personality. So I just had them fucking surgically attached to my face. So bitches know that I'm always shining, bro. <laughs> Great. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> See you tomorrow. I'm gonna fucking shoot myself.